gender construction is, isn't it like gender norms in society? Kind of like stereotypes, but not really. <laughs> For as long as we can record, gender construction has been incredibly prominent in our society. Men and women have been pushed into categories that exist to define who they are. Ross kissed me. No! Oh my yes! god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's unbelievable! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, alright, we want to hear everything. Monica, get the wine and unplug the phone. Okay. Rachel, does this end well or do we need to get tissues? Oh, it ended very well. Oh, do not start without me! Do not start without me! Okay, alright. Let's hear about the kiss. Was it like, was it like a soft brush against your lips? Or was it like a, you know, I gotta have you now kind of thing? <laughs> well, at first it was really intense, you know, and then, oh God, and then we just sort of sunk into it. Oh, so, okay, was he holding you? Or, like, or was his hands like on your back? And, you know. No, actually, <laughs> first they, they were, they started out on my waist and then they slid up and then they were in my hair. Oh. oh. <laughs> and, uh. And then I kissed her. Tongue? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it starts from the minute we are born. Even before we are able to make our own decisions, stereotypes are thrown at us that we are expected to follow as we grow older. This is seen everywhere today in magazines, TV shows, interviews, and advertisements. Men are portrayed as powerful, comedic breadwinners who are often everyone's favorite characters. Remember when I told him his backpack looked like a purse? Turk, honey, I didn't mean it. I am a man! And a man does not get on your purse! Ah! Ah! Women, on the other hand, are portrayed as over-sexualized props that usually only exist to be a support for their husbands and family. However, as times are changing, women and men are breaking down barriers for future generations. Women have stopped letting the word girl be associated with negative terms and are empowering each other all over the world. Men are showing that it's okay to be sensitive or stay at home instead of holding a job. And what advice do you have to young girls who are told they run like a girl, kick like a girl, hit like a girl, swing like a girl? Keep doing it because it's working. If somebody else says that running like a girl or kicking like a girl or shooting like a girl is something that you shouldn't be doing, that's their problem. Because if you're still scoring and you're still getting to the ball on time and you're still being first, you're doing it right. It doesn't matter what they say. I mean, yes, I kick like a girl and I swim like a girl and I walk like a girl and I wake up in the morning like a girl because I am a girl. And that is not something that I should be ashamed of. After conducting interviews, it was evident that gender construction is a topic that people are aware of and see on a daily basis. The problem, however, is the lack of education on this issue. If we could implement this topic into curriculums at school, we could change the face of future generations. Okay, um, I see examples in pretty much like everyday life, just in school, especially on TV as well. Um, social media also shows some, uh, like magazines, like stuff like that with celebrities it has a lot. Um, I see men as, men are more portrayed as, you know, they need to be the, the provider of the household, the breadwinner, um, they're very, just like masculine traits that you would normally associate with guys, just having to be strong, like, emotionally stable, I guess. Um, um, well, usually women are portrayed as, they're like, over-sexualized, um, and men are often like, the strong leaders who do the work and... Um, usually the men are usually the characters that are the portrayals of funny, comedic characters and jokes. <laughs> I do think there needs to be more education because I think a lot of people are still kind of set in their ways of how women should be one way and men should be the, like one way as well. Um, but since it's like, you know, 2016, times are changing. I do think so because many people around really are not aware of this problem. Um, and that, the fact that people are actually a lot different than they are portrayed in these movies and shows. 